Hello everyone, I'm Bitter and welcome to the cave. Today's subject, William Dampier. One of the most important people most people have never heard a thing about. An English explorer, pirate, and first person to travel the world the whole way around three times. Well, his date of birth isn't recorded. He was baptized on the 5th of September, 1651. He'd get a healthy education and just before joining the Royal Navy in 1673. That June, he'd take part in two naval battles, and not long after, he'd get very sick. This forced him home to England, where he'd find that careers on land didn't suit him well, so he'd take to seas for an expedition. After returning home again, he'd get married in 1679, and head out to sea just months later to do his first circumnavigation. During that voyage, he helped capture Spanish ships, raid Spanish settlements in Peru, and team up with other privateers. At one point, the fleet contained 10 ships. In 1686, the ship he transferred to set out to the East Indies, and Spanish witnesses saw them as pirates, heretics, and cannibals. After more pirate attacks, he was selected in... 1687 to command a captured Spanish ship. January 5th, 1688, they'd anchor off the northwest coast of Australia, where Dampier remained until March 12th, and he'd make notes of plants, animals, and natives. He and two shipmates would be abandoned on an island with a canoe. They would modify it and survive a storm at sea. In 1691, he would return home with no money. All he had to his name was his journals and a slave who he would later sell to the Blue Bear Inn. In 1699, William would be given command of the 26-gun warship HMS Roebuck, given the mission by the King to explore the east coast of Australia, then known as New Holland. After landing, he began making the first detailed record of life in Australia. He collected many specimens and wrote detailed descriptions beyond what we'd had by, by that point. Eventually, his ship was in such bad condition that he had to abandon part of the expedition and return home due to risk of sinking. They tried to make it home. They stopped at Ascension Island in late February of 1701. While anchored offshore, the ship began taking on more water than they could handle, and this is with people to maintain the ship on board. As it began to sink, they chose to run it aground. The crew was marooned for five weeks, being picked up on April 3rd, when they made it, they'd made it home in August of 1701. Many papers were lost with the Roebuck, but Dampier saved new charts and coast, new charts that included coastlines, winds, currents, and all that as well as some of the bits of wildlife he'd collected. Upon returning home, Dampier was court-martialed for cruelty for abandoning a lieutenant in Brazil. He took a pay cut and was dismissed from the Royal Navy. After this, he would privateer his way around the world two more times before returning home. We don't know what the date was, and we don't know why, but it is believed uh, that he died in March of 1715, and in horrible debt. And now, with a nearly 300-year jump, 2001 the Roebuck was found. 